My child, I do not desire that you should falter or fail. My angels fight for you. My angels stand guard to protect you from Satan's evil. Be wise and discerning. Don't give way to evil, master your passions, and don't allow the world to influence you. Stay in my word and grow in our love. Hide your concerns in your heart and reveal them to no one but me, for no other can help you as I can. Remember the devil prowls as a roaring lion seeking the death of your soul. When he has his mouth locked around yours, he will use his foul lies to steal your faith. Don't give in. Press on in your prayers and continue in my commands. In your obedience, I will fill you to overflowing with my mercy. I will give you a future, a heavenly destiny. Whoever remains in me will be raised up at the last day. I will raise them up with life, abundant life. Practice your small acts of obedience. The day will come when you will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at my heavenly table, feasting on the bread of life. If you have kept to my words, my house is open to you. The sadness that you feel now, day after day, will slowly fade. The sun will come out again. That serene clarity will once again prevail. At that moment, those who rejected you, who caused you pain, the ones who harmed you, they will one day come to you in a shining moment of reconciliation. They will turn to you and ask for your forgiveness. And in that moment, they too will experience my transforming love. You will not withhold your pardon, but will give freely, as my grace and mercy are given freely. May you be steadfast. Go on the path of the warrior who will stand my ground, giving not back nor turning away. So march on. Be an inspiring example in your words, actions, love, spirit, faith and purity. Wield the sword of the spirit. Be blessed with assurance of your pathway because you're never alone on that road. And if you have to knock down those hurdles, it's okay. They won't hurt you. I'm right beside you, willing you on, encouraging you to continue, to press on. Everything that I do in your life is for your good, for your beneficial well-being, because I want to always and ever bless you and all that you are, because of who you are. Believe, my child, things that seemed closed will open up. Impossibilities will prove attainable. You will be stronger. You will be wiser. You will win the things you are striving for. It's time to reap what you've sown in weeping. You'll reap in feasting. Advance, my child. Proceed with never-ending faith, my child. Things that are good await you. Your cries and devotion will be answered. I cherish you, my child. My love and the protection of hosts of angels are with you. Will you embrace these things that I tell you today, so you can wield them wisely to accomplish your purpose and to build up the people? Notwithstanding the obstacles and adversities you face, wonderful things still await you in your life, for I will do it. Prepare, for I will do great things in your life that are far beyond what you could even dream or think. For what you believe, that shall you possess. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to sow, a time to reap, a time to embrace, a time to part, a time of war, a time of peace, a time of tears, a time to laugh, a time to speak of blessings, a time to be silent. I have heard you cried out by your prayer, I have not turned away. I have wept your tears before your prayer went up. Just wait. You will see it and see riches and joy in it. Your eyes will see it. Do not give up. Do not give in to everything that is happening presently, the pain and the sickness, even the screaming voices surrounding you seemingly taunting you. Fight. Stand for your faith. Do not let distress overwhelm you or doubt weigh you down, for I abide with you and am ready to help. Between us, I'll do amazing and extraordinary things in you, in your life and children's life. Just believe. For my word, 
never ends or fades away. Be strong, my child. You are mine. What is happening to you is nothing more than a process to equip you with strength and wisdom. Supernatural response lands any time now. It's a blessing that you have been waiting for, and in heavenly places. My power in you is about to show itself. Accept it, grab it, this is my will for you. Remember, I am a God of promise, a rewarding God. If I say you will get more than you deserve, more than you could ever expect, and you will do more than you think you can, I want you to believe it to be so. But you must be possessed with the spirit of a conqueror, brave, steady and diligent, yet humble in spirit and sound in mind. Take heart, the glory hour is close at hand. However great your trials and tribulations, and wicked that world system may grow, I will act in an unheard of way. Secrets between you and me, miracles for your eyes only, and miracles heard only by your ears. Bring me your worries, your pain and your fear. I will replenish your body and soul. Where there is a fracture, I will heal. Where there is pain, I will make it cease. And my mercy alone will pour into your life so deep and vast, you will never be the same. I will do great things for you. You will feel my power and will be filled with it. My child, do not falter in your efforts. Be steadfast and rise when you fall. I do not hold anger against you when you err. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. In me is your salvation and the strength of Israel. It is I who made you and helped you, and I will hold you with my righteous right hand. I prepare you for battle. Arise, therefore, my child, arise. Stand up. Let the world see you as you arise each day. Know you are not alone. Show no fear of evil or its worldly powers. Be strong and of good courage, for I am with you. I will be with you all the days of your life. My peace will be a shelter for you. Inside this you will find the strength to weather any storm and conquer every difficulty. Your waiting is not in vain, child. Your honor is not broken, your faith is not shaken. Hold on to your promise and watch the gates open slowly as the blessings I promised you spring on you like the opening of the floodgates. Your faith will be tried, child, but I am working all things to shape you for good, not ill. Keep your faith, my child. Let patience be the place where you will deepen your peace. I am victory in you. You are more than a conqueror. Keep a crown of victory on your mind at all times infused with faith and expectation that you will succeed. Your thoughts are seeds. Plant them well and you will reap a harvest of gladness. Walk on, keep going. Stay in my word and hang on to your prayer. For prayer keeps an open artery between your heart and mine and maintains a channel of comfort, guidance and insight into my will for your life. So keep going, don't give up. If you trip and stumble, get up. I won't let you fall. You will prevail. Keep to your path. Every step of yours has my blessing and my mercy. Go forward in faith and courage, knowing that I am there to do great and marvelous acts on your behalf. Believing with all your heart these things I command you this day, trust, for it will be made good. My child, know one thing. My love for you is unchangeable, unending. Nothing you could do could alter my affection. Nothing you could do could send me away. My beloved, my heart once more reaches for yours. You are far away, yet all my senses are focused on your journey. Feeling your struggles, your temptations, your sense of what human beings like you are capable of achieving, what you fall short of. No matter how long you have fallen, and however remote you feel your spirit must be, I am here for you, my arms open to console, forgive, and lead you back again on a road of hope, peace, prosperity, and fulfillment. Think of which roads you have walked. Think hard, and let your choice be good, because the way of vice only brings sorrow and adversity. It promises fulfillment, but then leaves only a passing shadow of joy. 
while I want for you a joyful, loving, and peaceful life. A hopeful life. Here I am to help you, to set you free from the chains that bind you, and to heal your weary heart. You are my beloved, formed in my image, made for a purpose that exceeds anything this world could offer to you. Today, I want to remind you that, though the enemy says otherwise, I am with you, waiting for you to return to me. I'm talking to you, my child. In the stillness, listen for my voice that gently stirs your heart. I speak to you in the pages of my scriptures, a light to shine along your path, an instruction to guide your feet. Do not neglect it, but cherish it as a gift, and meditate on it, remembering it, and it will make known to you the way of life that you seek, and will comfort your broken heart and restore your soul. Do not turn from it, for here I give you my grace and forgiveness that I freely offer without exception. You can have a million mistakes, any kind of mistakes in your past, that you think are unforgivable, that you feel as if you've totally failed, that you've gone so far from the path, and truly I can welcome you with open arms back into love and compassion and renewal. Nothing is too big for my unlimited, unconditional love. Stop whatever you are doing, please. Stop and find me. Lean into my voice. Let me teach you and stretch your heart into light, and let me lift your burdens off your shoulders. It is a burden to carry all of your life's darknesses. You don't have to do it alone, trust me, and I'll give you renewal and lift you up. You'll know well-being again. You will have the hope that is only mine to give you. I love you with an unlimited, unconditional, endless love, and my grace is big enough for you. Trust me, child. Let me do in you what is the only thing that can be done in you. My love is big enough to do the impossible for you. Depart from darkness and choose my light. I truly want you to live. I love you, and my love for you is permanent and constant. I want you to flourish. I want you to have the real peace and joy I want to share with you. Because the world wandering after your own will, always failing to get what it desires, offers only illusions that disappear in a puff of smoke. The world's promises merely lead into a spiral of disappointment and despair. But my desire for you is peace of heart, a peace that transcends all understanding, hope guarded by a righteous hope, especially when you are tossed about in the storms of life. Come back to me. What profits a man if he gains the whole world and thereby loses his own soul? By wandering down the broad and easy ways of the world, you will miss the peace and joy your heart craves. Come back to me with all your heart. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. Only in me will you find the proper peace, the proper joy your heart needs. Lay aside all your past sins. I have forgiven you of them, and I hold them against you no more. All my love is ready and my grace is waiting to restore, promote, and advance, and to give to you a new skill and purpose. Today I call you up, open, invincible through prayer and obedience towards my ways. In my leadership you will never be forgotten and will never be forsaken. Walk and believe that I am going before you. You are no more alone. You have nothing to fear. Come to me and I will give you the perfect peace and eternal joy. Live in my presence. My arms are ever available for you. With ample love, may my love be your comfort. Why are you worrying about other people's opinions? What are you looking back at or stressing over? The very dreams that are in your heart and the abundance of happiness that you desire is before you. Have you forgotten that I said I'd care for you? protect you and meet your needs. I'm there with my mighty arms stretched out, not beating you down but blessing you and holding you up. I'm there developing your character and planting seeds of greatness into your heart. 
You may ask, will these things happen? Yes, if you believe my love for you in your heart and your mind. Believe, if you trust in my power flowing through your limbs and bones. Believe, don't let temptation steal the blessings I've got prepared just for you. I know it's hard to stop thinking about the people that criticize and judge you, but you must know that nothing can break you off from my side. Your love for me runs deep and runs true. You are my child, and that can and will never change. You have heard others giving their opinions on you. Start paying more attention to my opinion about you. Stop stressing over the opinions of others and let them run their mouths until they can't any longer. Whatever they're going to say, they've already said. Stop stressing over what others have said and said about you. I know this isn't easy to do, but you must be strong and do it anyway. Stop looking back over your shoulder, assessing who hurt you the worst and who misunderstood you the most. You are one of a kind and sacred. Know that your life path and destiny comes about through my word and my truth, not through the words and declarations of the world. Forget those who do not support you. Make room in your heart for those who love you unreservedly. That is where your greatness lies, in being willing to be fully yourself despite all trials. From this moment forward, do not listen to the mockers and scoffers, the naysayers who question your dreams, the doubters that declare you cannot be a success, the unbelievers that declare you do not deserve the wonderful things I am pouring to you. They cannot see my love. They cannot see my power. You bow your head low in humility, but you believe. What I am about to give you will outstrip your imagination. My child, lie deep into my love and rest. Bask in this moment of grace. Receive this loving solace my spirit brings to you. Fill your heart with bliss. Accept and enjoy this unlooked for gift. As others are rejected and search for guidance and meaning, you are discovering in a moment of love and forgiveness, the warmth, the healing feeling that soothes the past, enriches the present, and sends you on your way into a future of blessings. This is our secret. Hold on to my hand with an honest faith. When you're soaring, or running, or your feet are walking, you'll find me, and I will never let you go. Do not listen to doubtful words that would make your hand open. Hold hard to this love that will bring you peace in the night and bravery in the day. If you walk over burning coal or tread in falling snow, I'll never let a trial or trouble grow over you, as you are strengthened in your faith with these my words. When another sob salts your song, then think of the tranquil joy that rings in my voice. My soul shall not abandon you, though many cast stones judging you. The darkness comes upon each soul. Darkness in the soul brings all to sin. My eye has seen the path's end. My shade reflects the emptiness within. Run away from the judgment of mortal men. Forgive all, pray for all. Forgive the wicked, but do not love the betrayer. Only love me in pure and truthful love. Keep in mind you who are eternally loved, you are eternally embraced. Here I am, waiting to love when you seek me. Consider what the angels are doing right now to rejoice that you are inching back to this blessed way you must begin to travel. Every step a thousand angels rejoice. You have been the victim of your own thoughts. Every day promises new chances to love and forgive. This walk is a higher walk sown with seed thoughts, uplifting sentiments, holy wishes, and thanksgivings. Be positive. Cast off corrosives of the spirit that belittle you and degrade you, and then prey on your wounded feelings. Here is a place of miracles, and what is hard to believe or reconcile will be the basis of a new practice, a new life, if you let me take you into a love that blesses and leads those you love onto the new path of mercy and goodness, you are with me. Your faith with me is beyond rules and rituals. I will maintain my covenant with you, for I am the Lord, your Maker. I know what happened. You didn't fail me. You didn't disappoint me. 
you merely made an error, hoping to be more than you are, aspiring to heights beyond your strength without my encouragement. But I love you nonetheless, and your life will not be ruined by your errors. Though others still may judge you in terms of your old failings, now is the time to show forgiveness and pray for them, for I will fight off this envy, and I will protect you as my precious child. I will be with you to influence every concern, direct all your steps, assist through fight and flight, and lift you up through failure or defeat. And though I cover you in my unfailing grace, in your soaring success, remember me. If those against you come against you, stand with faith. Give me your hand. I will guard you. I will defend you. Obey my voice and don't be afraid, for I am your God, I protect you. Write about me, shout my name, give your testimony. Reach out to me, the lover of your soul. There is a time for everything. Don't be in a rush. The unfolding of my love is close at hand in your life. Lay aside all questionings, doubtings, or fears concerning my love for you. For I will not allow anyone to ridicule or intimidate you into retreat. Leave your life completely in my hands and watch as wonders begin to happen within you. Open your heart to me. Tell me your dreams, your ambitions, your wishes and desires. Say the word and I will listen. I shall arrange everything so that you will realize your dreams. Do not give up. When you are weak, pray. I shall give you the comfort and strength to persevere. Stand up against adversity. Walk with your head high and take long, confident strides. I am walking beside you and all will see. Adversities will attempt to enter your life, but you must have courage to deny their entry, especially when you feel alone. Affirm these words with great faith from your heart. You walk with confidence. I am with you. I will not let the plague destroy your house. The enemy does not have any power over you. I love you and have appointed my angels to look after you. It is I who formed you. It is I who know you. You belong to the chosen generation that are called upon today. I will be and remain with you. You are special. Today I have given you your destiny. Many beautiful things await you, all because of your prayers and your faith in me. Keep my words in your heart and treasure them. Allow yourself to be free. Let yourself be blessed. Do not hesitate to ever greet me by my name. Let my blessings make you rich. And always hold fast, never doubting a single word. Close your eyes, praise my name, let my freeing fire burn clear. To those who stand against you soon will come their fall. For in their attacks upon you, they sin against me. Avoid malice and those who sow division and hate. Avoid those with hard hearts as stone, the liars and the scoffers, those who destroy through sinful craft, who pretend to be the faithful while pursuing their own selfish aims. Turn not unto them, neither follow them after, but keep thy distance from them. Go not in after them, lest your soul be seduced and you turn astray. Even now open your ear and listen, for this is what I say. From afar I will speak to you and I will call. You will answer me. I will be your shield and your sword in the fight. I will help you overcome everything. Call on me every day. Rise at dawn with a believing heart. Come early, dear one, come listen. Read and be refreshed by the faith-giving wisdom that calms your spirit and makes your soul rejoice in it. Hold on to these things in faith, I tell you. Blessed is the one who blesses my name. Today you receive fresh power from my spirit, and today I transform your person. For you are to devote yourself from now on to me alone. Pray first for all your family. Give love and joy to your brothers and sisters. Use your talents. Learn how to help those in need. Live your life as long as my spirit breathes through you and into you, so that peace and joy and love and happiness flow through your being. 
Keep your Bible bedside. Use it when life doesn't make sense. Use it when your quiet moments beg for peace. Use it for the right word. Use it to access your heart. And use it every day, every chance you get. But also, my beloved, come to me. Pour yourself out. Fill yourself up. On days you have everything going your way. On days you have nothing but you decide to give thanks anyway. On days the doors have been closed insistently in your face. On Sunday mornings, during the week, at work and rest. In those fleeting and precious moments just before sleep. Say in your heart these words and repeat them. I can do all things through Christ my Lord who strengthens me. Without Him, nothing. With Him, everything. Therefore I will walk without fear. Nothing and nobody in the world can move me from the place you've given me, Lord. I believe in you and in your word. Come into my life, walk by my side. I will come to hold you, heal you, embrace you in my love forever. I am yours and ever shall be. Here, take this gift. I come to rescue you. You called out, I heard you, and I come to you with promises of faith. And this is my word that offers upon you all my security. This is my victory. And from my victory comes your reward for all your suffering and your pains. The prize for all your courage. The medal, your resolution. The crown of the future life and countless other blessings. Proclaim with your words and heart that you accept and receive these gifts. And in all your weariness today, do not fear. For I am your healer and pure joy is mine to give. Strength to your feet, swiftness to your legs, increased power to your knees, crowning joy to your spirit, a fire to cleanse you from now on from all kinds of sin, a fire to make all things new, so that you may be a light to break the darkness, and fire to ignite the hearts of people to worship, praise, thank, and glorify the Lord, that they may share your joy and gladness from now on and forever. You can feel my fire of welcome, my word warrior, burning in your heart and in your soul as you read and hear my voice. Your soul is being enriched with a divine longing to ascend even higher and conquer still more. My son, my daughter know who I am, a father who watches over his children. How could I feel good seeing you in a state of sorrow or depression? When you close your eyes, and while in slumber you lie entrusted to me, I fill your dreams. I whisper in your ear that I love you. I cherish you. You no longer lose your nights. You sleep gently and safely. Let yourself wake up to find me here to comfort and charge your spirit for another day. A day full of joy and renewed resolve. Before you there is a way paved with love with a dedicated and holy purpose. The treasures of friends and family will be visited upon you and your life will be brought to me. You will meet people who want to bring you good things. Put the past away. I have freed you from fear, I give you freedom. Enjoy it. As you listen to my voice, your heart grows brave. You never were a coward and I love your good heart, your faith and the deeds you do to win when you are overflowing with blessings, when you're drunk with gladness, return to me daily. Make sure there's always a place in your heart for me. Take my words and tuck them into your heart, that they might be at your tongue to bring you peace all day. All of my plans are for your well-being, a full and flourishing life, filled with love, generosity, and wonder for yourself and others. If you give me your whole heart and return to me, again and again, in times of hardship and comfort. If you give me only part of your heart, or the part of you that desires ease and triumph, then your faith will not sustain you. If your anchor is not steady in the storms of life, then your ship, with only half sails flying, will wash up on foreign shores of doubt and distrust bound to capsize. If then I speak from my heart, and you do not hear me, then you might be putting your ongoing faith in hopes that can and will disappoint. Because your ears are unfocused, your mind may become littered with self-defeating thoughts, 
your heart shaken by stormy seas, tossed between wandering winds gusting right to left, then indecision will dominate. But it doesn't have to be that way. All I ask is for your heart, for your faith. Do not falter in your faith, do not falter in your loyalty. Choose today for me now to be in my presence forever. Every day if you choose me now, it is not a day that is lost. It is a day that is added to you, because I will be in your presence forever, and you will be a family that is in unity forever, and my salvation will reach you, and neither your enemies nor the wicked will prevail over you, and those who hate you will bend their hearts backwards. Be united with me and walk in my eternal covenant. The victory is already yours for the taking if you walk with me. Yes, for those who walk, for those who are on the path with me. I am saying, if you make your promise to me, if you entrust me with your heart, with your faith, with your love, then the victory is already yours for the taking, in eternity. But your part is in this moment a simple, small gesture. Raise your hands or close your eyes. And in the silence of your heart together with me, spend just one moment and say, thank you. Start from the small things. All that you have in your life, list them. Every blessing, big or small, give thanks. All your lonely wanderings become threads woven into your journey for existence, threads that compel you to keep moving forward without turning back. Give thanks, with heart, with deepest sincerity. Give thanks even when you feel you have nothing to be thankful for. This gratitude causes the veil to be lifted and a horizon of blessings to open to a more joyful life. These blessings become the fuel for getting up in the morning and persevering. Do it now. Thank me for this. Let your voice and your words reach me. Express gratitude towards your life, towards breathing, towards your loved ones, and even towards the very place you find yourself in, whatever it is. Be grateful. Later I will unveil new plans and ways, a new map to point you to where you need to go. But for now, just praise, in times of smiling and times of tears. Praise the impediments, the thwarting, even the painful processes. Look into yourself and praise who you are. Your praise will bring miracles and perspective-shifting transformations in your life. Spread my word. Many people around you are smiling while inwardly breaking and near to giving up. They're looking for hope. They could make room for a miracle. Tell them, whisper or shout of the miracle that is unfolding in your heart. Speak about the elation and the multitude of blessings that are available to them simply by following my word. When you spread my word, I cover you with peace, harmony, prosperity, blessings, and lessen your burden. Dissolve and make an end of strife. Believe, you shall not fail. I try you in small things that you may receive greater blessings. At times you might think that I am aloof or that I have turned my back on you or that I am displeased. But think back on the road we have traversed together. Do you think it has been in vain? Do you think the blessings I have lavished on you are so easily forgotten? Know this, every word of mine is treasure, and each bliss I grant you is a seed. Some of them shall fall and seem as though they have perished, but in the richness of your prayers they are dormant, awaiting the springtime of faith, where they will sprout and take root, growing into lush green trees filled with fruit for you and all those you hold dear. So I say to you now, to you and those you love, be still, rest in my peace, be moved by patience. You live there in the garden of my presence, where what you hold in your hand will grow and be plentiful, and your tears will become a waterfall of joy. The wants of your household will be more than supplied. Wait and behold the working. Lament not any seed of all that you sow sorely. Weep, rather, because of joy 
seeing that by my power you shall presently behold how it shall spring forth and become the greatest of blessings unto you and to your children's children. I have prepared to give you blessings far beyond your imagination. Continue to be faithful. Don't worry about the things which have hardened your road. I know your path. You will achieve your desires and no man or woman shall pluck off your graces. Come to me with loyalty and purity of heart and sincerity of spirit. Come to me daily and let your first words of every day be an expression of thanksgiving and praise. Let not the gloominess of night overshadow your eyes and keep you from seeing the radiant rays of grace that guide your days. I desire your sight to be set beyond the immediate to the fullness of my purpose for you, which is a hope and a future. Your recent pains and griefs may still sound in your ears, and you may be clouded by bewilderment. But listen to what I say to you, and do not doubt me. None of these things will reach you. There will be no disgrace for you. You will overwhelm your enemies. You will overcome all your adversaries and all those who opposed you. So now is the time when you should stand up as a child of mine. Amen.